So we've checked for responsiveness. Hey, can you hear me? No response. Called 911, put your phone on speaker. Emergency services will actually talk through things with you. They'll ask you, do you know CPR? You can say, I know hands-only CPR. Okay. And they'll say, begin compression. So do your hands like I showed before. I usually recommend being up on your knees so that way you can leverage your body weight because you're doing a two-inch deep compression. And we push to the beat of the BG staying alive. So push, 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 push. I'm going to have you bring your hands up a little bit more into the center right there. So that hard part of your hand is right in the center, okay? okay? So. A little harder. You're in the right spot. It's very hard to get these to click. Okay. And on an actual person, we obviously don't click. Okay. This is just to stimulate, okay. simulate how hard of a compression you're doing. Yeah, very much. I mean, you feel like you're really doing it too hard, but I need to click it? You don't need to click. Um, these, like I said, sometimes these mannequins are a little hard to get to click, okay. but you're getting the right push, and it's push, 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 push. Excellent. And that's all you would do until either EMS arrives, help arrives, or if the person does come back and begins breathing regularly, stop compressions, stay with them until help arrives.